Hey YouTube, this is Zaire, and as the title suggests, I'll be showing you all how to do a ponytail. And for a lot of you, this may not seem like a big deal, but for me, it's a really big deal because I actually haven't worn a ponytail since 2006. I actually locked my hair in 2006, and I cut it in 07, and I grew it out for a little while, but then, of course, because of the cancer, I had to cut my hair again. So, um, this is the first time in a long time that I've had enough hair to actually really do anything besides, like, a twist out or something with. So, um, here we go. I'm going to do this. Far. And the thing is, I've actually, I wore this style earlier today, so it's kind of still in the form of the pony token earlier, but I'll show you anyway. Don't mind. It's just like a day old twist out. Um, and I typically just wear a twist out just to keep my hair detangled, really. Um, I'm not into the whole curl definition and all that kind of stuff. I could care less, but um, I have this thing, I hate knots, I hate tangles, and a twist out for me is the easiest way to eliminate that. So, um, the materials I have here... I need just really a couple bobby pins. Make sure that they have a little bulb on the end so they don't snag your hair. And I have a little elastic here, and it has no metal on it, which is really good too because you don't need anything getting tangled in your hair. No metal on there. And so what I'm going to do is just gather my hair in the back. And the thing is, you may see some parts, and it's only because I had a twist out earlier, so it was parted, but that can be easily camouflaged. So um, I'm just going to take my hair and gather it. And this is a really good thing for us short-haired ladies who want the look of a full ponytail but don't have enough hair to achieve it. So I guess I could kind of call it my faux pony. Some people will call it a puff, but I like the sound of the ponytail better, so I'll call it a ponytail. So what I'm just doing is wrapping the elastic around as much hair as I possibly can. And the goal here is not to get it super tight because I don't need any hair breakage and I don't want a headache. So what I'm doing here is just taking and tucking the pieces here. Make sure that I get the edges in there and it may not be perfect and it doesn't have to be so what I'm doing is taking and tucking as much hair as I possibly can into this band and I'm actually just going to fluff out the ponytail here I think I did it better earlier <laughs> it's always like that when you get on camera it always doesn't want to do like it did before, but um, you should have seen this hairstyle in my last video, so before I get any questions about it, assuming I get questions, <laughs> I just figure I'd go ahead and make this. Alright, so as you see, it's kind of silly, but I have some hair left on the front, and a lot of people may be kind of tired of the whole pompadour thing, but I still think it's cute. So what I'm going to just do is take my hair here in the front, I'm just going to swoop it to the side take my closed bobby pin and just secure it in there. And I have little hair left up here at the top, so I'm going to do the same thing. And the reason I said it doesn't have to be perfect is because it kind of looks a little bit messy and that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfectly manicured and all pristine and stuff. Actually, I'm not putting any gel on the edges. I'm not worried about making it all sleek. It doesn't have to be like that. What you can do if you want a sleek look is maybe put some gel on the edges. Maybe put some water to help slick it down, or slick it down, excuse me. And you can take this scarf here and tie it around your edges for a sleeker look. Just leave it on for a few minutes to let it set itself. And I actually have my sister Evie Hill 1988 taking this for me, so Amy, how's it look? It looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what will happen is we'll take some pictures and attach them to the end of the video. This is really it. It's kind of just a little puff with a pompadour in the front. And as I said, this is really good for you short-haired ladies like myself until we can achieve it. I'm not going to weave it. I'll just fake it out a little bit. So I'll do a 360 for you. That's it. We'll take some pictures. Thanks. 